What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dollyboy, and today we are updating the Clip Champ review. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. Right out the gate, I think this is an even better app than I ever realized because I think they updated some things. I gotta show you guys. I was also asked a question that I will be addressing while I show you this stuff. Okay, so this is a video that I put out recently on Instagram and on stories um, that took me a uh, literal 10 minutes to make. Uh, and 10 minutes because I spent five minutes like in awe of what happened. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna give you a quick sample. I remember watching, uh, what was it called? Was it Picture It? So, audio visualizer, captions, all generated inside of Clipchamp. Wild. Let me show you guys. We're going to search templates. Visualizer. Premium. Oh, this one's a little, this one's a little different. Perfect. All right. Uh, oh, this one's, that's fun. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in our uh, media. So we're going to bring in that cover. We're going to bring in the audio clip. Okay. That's all I brought in. So first things first, this was, this obviously opened in a 16 by nine format. I want it vertical for Instagram and such. Two clicks done and done, right? We're going to take the cover. We're going to, we're going to drop it in between here underneath the visualizer and we're going to stretch it out and my clip is going to be way longer so let's actually gr drag this right on top of the audio just replace it just eliminates the previous audio replaces it we're going to scroll out control control minus or control scroll zoom out and we're going to max this bad boy out then we're going to max out that we're going to max out the visualizer, uh, and then yeah, why not? I don't really know how this works, but is it gonna? Huh. Let's see. Uh, what was? Let's add logo. What's this thing? This one's a little different than mine, so I don't need that because I don't know what it is. Um, we're gonna delete that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna pull. What did I use? Large heading, okay, we're gonna drop that. Boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna go over to text. Put in some text. Okay, I said left. We brought it down to bangers. We're gonna resize this, we're gonna drop it right here. And we're going to choose same color. I think I dropped. Mm, no, that's just it's an actual background. That could be used. Actually, let's 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 do that. Let's actually do that. Undo. Stop it. We're going to drop that here. We actually are going to drop a background on it. Uh, Okay, I don't hate that. Boom. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna still need to go up a little bit because I have to show you guys something else. Okay, so we have the visualizer up top as well. I don't love that color and I don't love that placement. So, transform. Oh, boom, position. Let's middle, middle, display as bars. Oh, there's the difference. Actually, I like bars. Let's max out that size. I like that. Change the colors up. Eh, let's do blue and let's do deep purple here. Okay. Dark. Okay. And then this, this was the real, this was the real surprise. I happened to catch this while I was editing the text and I was like, it's not going to just generate captions for me, right? Uh, it is. And while I did not uh, filter my profanity, I do have an option to filter the profanity for the captions, which is crazy. Uh, so what it's going to do here in brief seconds, because it's a very short clip, let's be honest, uh, it's going to generate the entire 
clip worth of time stamped captions freaking wild and if you'll notice when it's done you have the option to download it download the captions as an srt feed it directly to let's say youtube that's kind of dope so let's see here this is now a little this is a little low eh, i don't like that background anymore so we're just gonna kill that boom 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 right and it like dawned on me that this was the there it is there it is. That's it. That's it. You saw me do everything I did. Uh, obviously, it's a little longer text, but like you get the point, right? You get the point. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. They improved what was already a great free product. Like, what, I don't even know how much more to recommend this. Now, the reason that I'm making a video about this in the first place is because in the first video that I did about ClipChamp, uh, somebody asked a question about how do you move the playhead around because it's not very precise it jumps big chunks instead of moving you know more precisely and really the only solution i have for that is to zoom in the more you zoom in the more finite it is because it is moving the same amount of screen real estate i, I don't know how else to describe that but the the amount of distance it's moving is the same whether you're zoomed in or you're zoomed out right you see it's moving the same amount of like left to right horizontal space. And if you zoom in, that same amount of space covers less and less time. So the more precise you want to get in your edits, the more precise you want to get in your movements. I mean, you can see here, this is literal less than a second, right? So I'm, I'm moving between points of less than a second. It The more you zoom in, the more finite the control is going to be. That's really it. And down here, you could even use the use the uh, the cursor to to drag it around and drop it exactly where you want if you you know if you really want to drop it you know in front of a certain waveform or whatever that's that's how you're going to do it that's going to be the best way uh i don't know if there's a way to change that i don't know if there's a way to manipulate that i haven't found one maybe they'll add one in the future but honestly for my purposes i think this is really good now, let's say you are in a video, you want to introduce some of these features, you wanna introduce a visualizer. Uh, I have not found a way to actually just import it. Uh, you have to search for it in templates, uh, visualizer. So I search visualizer and it brings up the three options. I don't know why it says this one's watermarked because it doesn't say premium, right? It would say premium if, if it was not free. It's very strange to me. I might have to play around with that. Um, but you just drag it in from here. Uh, you just add the timeline. It will do all of the things for you. So for instance, that was unnecessary is what that was. This template isn't a perfect fit for your video. You can still use it, but you only need to make adjustments perfect, right? So I just dropped it in and it brought in all the elements, including that audio visualizer. You just get rid of what you don't need and move on. So you, as you can see, this now imported the other stuff. Uh, so we're just gonna undo that. Uh, and here, even you, and of course you can actually delete anything that you don't need. So the stuff from the other video, the original video even uh, can all be deleted. The only stuff you need is your media because the visualizer will stay there. The visualizer is an element that I'm sure can be added a different way besides importing an entire template. Uh, I just haven't found it yet. I, I don't know where it is. I don't know because it's not in it's not in graphics. I don't think it's in graphics, backgrounds, frames, over, overlays. Text to speech. Oh, that's very interesting. Hello, world. Stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. This, this app is so ridiculously good. Like for what this is and for how much it costs, which is zero dollars, I remind you, uh, I, I was wondering about that. That is something that kind of like stuck in my head because every time I was looking at it, it was showing me that it costs like, because if you look at it in here, right? And if I click upgrade, the pricing says Microsoft 365, there is nothing else, right? So I was concerned that you actually had to have a 365 subscription to get it for free. Uh, but then when I went to their website, uh, the only difference here is uh, with the 365 subscription, you get premium audio image and video stock. So I might get a little more, a uh, little more access to 
other things. So this stuff is the additional items for essentials. Um, although, wait, if I'm supposed to be able to get premium, let's try something here. Stock video. I don't know. Let's, yeah, sure, the bunny. But why? It says that I get premium. Fil mm, I'm going to have to look into that again. Uh, regardless, I think what you get for free is really, really freaking good. Uh, I, I really think this is one of the best purchases Microsoft has ever made. I think this, this is going to be, this is going to be Microsoft's iMovie. Like this is going to be something that I think kids are going to grow up on and learn how to edit and learn how to, how to do video on. And I think it's great. I really genuinely think it's great. That's going to be it for this one. If you have any questions, drop that down below. If you have any suggestions about any other free software, free video software, free photo software, creative software in general, uh, please let me know. I'd love to review it. Uh, that is what this uh, entire show, this entire segment, what am I calling this? Series. Series. That's probably the best term. <laughs> this uh, free Software Friday series is about. Yeah, I'm happy to check out anything that's free and meant for creatives, and I'm I'm all about lowering the barrier of entry to the creative space. So free software is just step one. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.